What's going on, everybody? My name is Alex Wilson. I have my co-host beside me, Anthony Rivardo from Fireside Giants, an Empire Sports Media production, and you're listening to the Fireside Giants podcast. If you are a diehard Giants fan, you've come to the right place. Daily episodes, interviews, draft content, and so much more. Make sure to drop a like and a subscription below on YouTube, and don't forget to leave a comment. We'd love to engage with everybody. Today's episode, we're talking about a tackle that not a lot of people know about. His name is Max Mitchell out of Louisiana. Was at the Senior Bowl, had some good snaps, had some bad snaps. We want to talk about him. He's a second round to third round fringe kind of player, um, but he's a really interesting guy, right? He's six foot six. He's a tall guy, pretty pretty reasonable height for a tackle. It's a good height for a tackle, but he's only two hundred ninety nine pounds, so he's about fifteen to twenty pounds lighter um, than most of the tackles in this draft class, which could be problematic. But he uses that that at agility to his advantage a lot of times, and you know when we're talking about him. It's, it's, it's interesting. You, I'll, I'll try to throw in a couple of clips that you can take a look while we're talking about him. Um, but ultimately, when it comes to Max Mitchell, he's an interesting player. Not many people have been talking about him. But Anthony pointed him out and found out he's a really good pass protector. And that's exactly what we need. So, Anthony, before we dive into Max Mitchell, how are you doing today, my friend? I'm doing great. I think Max Mitchell might be exactly what the Giants need, right? A right tackle, pure right tackle that has ability to be a good pass protector. The Giants need a pass protecting right tackle. The right tackle position has been a real struggle for the Giants in recent years, and they haven't had a good pass protector on the right side in a very long time. So when you take a look at a guy like Max Mitchell, no, he's not some stud that played in the SEC. That's why he's not going to be a first round pick. But in terms of being a second or third round pick, he's got a lot of really good traits and he's very technically sound and he's got a lot of great ability as a pass protector, which is exactly what the Giants need. So I like Max Mitchell a lot. We'll dive into him. I think that he has a lot of, you know, those things that the Giants are looking for. And I think that he would be a really good fit because is it realistic that the Giants are going to draft two offensive linemen in the first round? I mean, as great as that sounds, oh, you just fix the offensive line for five years in the first round of the draft. Is that really how it's going to work out? No, they're probably going to go with a defender on one of those picks and an offensive lineman with one of the other picks, whether the defender is Kayvon Thibodeau um, or uh, Kyle Hamilton, whoever it might be, it's likely going to be an offensive lineman and then a uh, defender or some other position player, right? But there's a good chance that the Giants wait until round two to go with an offensive lineman as well. And in that case, Max Mitchell might make perfect sense because he is a right tackle. We talk about Evan Neal. We talk about Charles Cross. We talk about Trevor Penny. We talk about all these guys, Ike Mokwonu. They're all left tackles, right? So no matter who the Giants draft in the first round, they're going to have to transition from left tackle to the right side. And those oh, that always brings growing pain. So if the Giants want to get an offensive tackle in the first round, it's going to be an offensive tackle that probably has some growing pains. But a guy like Max Mitchell, he's been a right tackle for his career. So as soon as he gets drafted, he can be a right tackle. There's no transition period. He just gets to focus on playing the position that he knows how to play, but just playing it at a different competition level. For the other guys, they have to learn how to play a position that's similar to what they played at a new competition level, which just creates even more of a struggle. But for Max Mitchell, being one of the only pure right tackles in the first couple rounds of this draft, that's why I think he would be a really good fit for the Giants. Yes, you know, when you're looking at Max Mitchell, this is kind of how they have him graded out. They believe that he could be a good a good backup who could also become a starter. So personally, my opinion is I don't think that drafting Max Mitchell to be your starter day one is a good idea. I think that more powerful defenders in the NFL, bigger physical guys are going to destroy him to early on in his career. He needs an NFL weight room. He needs NFL diets. That's what he needs. He needs a year to get his body into shape. However, he is a great option to take for a second year plug and play starter. The reason being, he needs that year to get his body right, but he also has some of the quickest feet I've ever seen from a tackle. He is so good with his feet. You know, he's quick. He staggers them. He's really good at, at, at resetting and finding ways to get blocks on. He's He gets overpowered because of his weight and his, and his stature, which um, is his problem now. But he's also a really great leader, something intangible about him. Um, you know, he's a tremendous leader. People love him. The players respect him. And I think that's something that Joe Shane is looking for, especially on the offense. Guys that, you know, are going to go balls to the wall every single time. Um, so he has 33, five, eight, uh, five inches and eight like centimeters, arms, nine, uh, nine inch hands with five centimeters. I don't know how to freaking read this, but 33 inch arms, almost 34 inch arms, pretty solid. Um, but when, when I'm looking at him, he's one of his cons that sometimes he doesn't use his length to his advantage. He has a pretty solid first punch, 
Um, but sometimes the length he could use a little bit better. He he plays a lot quicker and faster than he's capable of, you know, than when, and not as much power to his game. So I think that when you look at him as a player, I'd like to see him find a little bit more balance in his game. He When you watch him play, he looks like a center, actually. When you watch how he moves his feet and how agile he is, he looks like a center, um, which really was interesting to me. I wonder if any team also thought of that. But you know, interesting player nonetheless. He's played left tackle, right tackle, has that versatility, which I think is super, super important. Even if the Giants got him in the third round as a guy who they could develop and and could play both sides pretty well, that's something that's also super valuable. Those kind of players are extremely valuable. The Nick Gates of the world, um, you know, the Andrew Wileys of the world could play guard, tackle, whatever you need him to from the Kansas City Chiefs. We talked about him in a couple a couple of videos ago as a potential option for the Giants and free agency underrated offensive lineman there. But Anthony, you know, Mitch, Mitch, uh, you know, Mitchell is an intriguing player. Would you actually feel confident starting him day one though? Probably not due to size concerns. You know, he's got the height, he's got the length. I really like his arm length and his height, but he is under 300 pounds, which is a struggle for an NFL offensive tackle, right? An NFL offensive tackle does ideally need to be over 300 pounds. Max Mitchell doesn't take that box. And so that could be a struggle for him. He might really need to put on some weight first, but we also have the NFL combine coming up. What if he walks into the combine and weighs 320 pounds? What if for the past few months he's just been eating really good and he's been hitting the gym really good and he's put on some weight? You know, that's something that will will get determined soon enough with the combine about to begin. And so he might actually move up draft boards because he fixed his size problem. So who knows? And even if that's not the case, he doesn't show up to the combine at good size. Who's to say they don't draft him in April, develop him all throughout August all throughout the off season. And then he eventually, by the time the regular season comes around, has added an extra 20, 20 pounds to his frame and can anchor a whole lot better. And honestly, he's, he's pretty good at anchoring. I, I take a look at some of these clips that he had at the senior bowl. He's got a good anchor. Like he is a very good, powerful player. Um, and a lot of that has to do with technique though. And that's the thing. He it might be very technically sound. He might have really good feet, everything like that. But does he have the physical attributes? And that's kind of where there's a question mark because he's not 300 pounds and he is a little bit lean and undersized. So that, that's where I do get a little uncomfortable um, talking about him potentially being a starter day one. But at the very least, I do think that he could be a really good project for an offensive uh, line coach, you know, because he's already got a very good baseline of technique and fundamentals. So that makes it really easy for the offensive line coach to get him up to speed with the NFL game. But now it's just about getting his body right and getting him ready to face some stronger competition. He went to Louisiana. He didn't go play in the SEC. He didn't play, you know, against all these big school teams like Alabama and everything. That's not what he did. He played in Louisiana. It was a smaller school. And, you know, he didn't face all the greatest competition in the world. But eventually... He's going to have to because he's going to the NFL. So that's where the adjustment period lies with him. I don't think it lies with getting the fundamentals, right? Like we take a look at a guy like Trevor Penning. He's got a lot of work to do with technique. But then I think you take a look at a guy like Max Mitchell, and I don't think he has all that work to do with technique. I think he has work to do with getting ready to play the pro game, and that's about getting his body right. So I think, you know, it could be a few months. It could be a few weeks into the regular season. But eventually, he'll be ready to go in year one, I believe, just because he has such great technique. Right, so I think that if he can maintain his feet, that foot agility and speed, and add power to his game, he's going to become a good player. Um, but I think it's going to take time. You know, he needs time to build muscle, needs time to do that. It's going to take a season. Um, I think I think he's a late second round pick. That's where I have him slotted. I don't think the Giants can afford to wait until then to get a tackle. However, there's nothing stopping them from getting two tackles. You know, if the Giants they have two uh, multiple third round picks, they could package a third and a fifth together and move up and get a guy like him. You know, that's totally reasonable to consider. And I would absolutely take a Charles Cross or Ikem Ekwonu and then get it and then go after uh, a guy like Mitchell here. And I think that um, you always need good backups. And Ikem Ekwonu also projects as a really good guard. So maybe one day Mitchell ends up being a phenomenal right tackle. And they're like, you know what? Let's kick Ekwonu into guard and put Mitchell at starting right tackle. And you have a lot of versatility there. You can do a lot of different things. So that's something to keep in mind. Interesting uh, concept and, you know, just to, to consider in the, in the future. But I think this is a really interesting prospect. I'll, we'll put some film clips throughout the video so you can get an idea of what he's capable of doing. Um, you know, he did lose some reps at the senior bowl, but I think that overall he is a prospect that has a ton of potential, just needs to get his body right. He's a leader. Guys respect him. Um, and I think that stands out a lot. But any last or any last thoughts or words on Max Mitchell, Anthony? Yeah, I, uh, I'll just hit on, you know, a point that you made in terms of drafting two tackles, right? This reminds me 2020. The Giants drafted Andrew Thomas with the fourth overall pick. And then two rounds later, third round, 
pick number 99 overall. They went with Matt Parrott. Now, Matt Parrott hasn't panned out. He's dealt with a lot of injuries. Obviously, the coaching staff problems were have been a thing. The back injury was a major thing. The COVID thing, that it, like Matt Parrott has been screwed over every single way, right? But here's the point. They hit on their first tackle that they took in that draft in the first round. Maybe they missed on their third round tackle, but they still took two opportunities. Had it been the other way around where they missed on the first round guy and hit on the third round guy, everyone would be way more excited about the idea of drafting Matt Mitchell or, or in the second or third round. So I think this is a great idea for the Giants as well. You want to take as many chances as you can. Uh, Joe Shane has said that he wants to throw as many darts at the board as possible. So if we're talking about fixing the offensive line, we're talking about drafting players outside of the first round because Daniel Jeremiah has posted tweets too with some st statistics. I mean, most of the NFL teams around the league that make it to the Super Bowl have offensive linemen not drafted in the first round starting for them. So you've got to start finding some guys in the middle rounds, the Giants do, if they want to be a successful team with a good offensive line. And Max Mitchell might be one of those guys in the middle round, second or third, that they can find and identify to become a starter at least one day down the line. So really like Max Mitchell, like what he brings to the table as a pass protector, and think he might be a really good fit with the Giants outside of the first round. Yeah, I am I'm really, I'm really interested to see what he can do at the NFL level and if the Giants see him and think, hmm, that's a guy we can develop and make into a pretty good player. But I'd love to hear your opinions below in the comment section below on YouTube, as always, my friends. Um, interesting guy here in Max Mitchell. Not many people are talking about him. Maybe we'll do a film review in the future, but I'll, I'll, I'll post some video throughout this so you can get an idea of what he's capable of. Um, really, really intriguing feet. That's all I keep thinking about. The dude has really fast feet. Um, Rex Ryan, if we would have had him on that staff, I think it would have been a really bad problem for him um, having Max Mitchell here. I think that was a damn good joke, by the way. That was a good one. That was a good one. Can't lie. He might have had a problem yeah. with those guys on the roster. Um, but as always, much love. Make sure to like and subscribe below. We'll catch you guys on the next Fireside Giants episode. Thank you.